Okay guys, we finished the journal. It's all done! <laughs> so as soon as I'm done doing this flip, it can go out in the other room and be out of my office. I can't believe I got it done, but I got it done. <sighs> Give me a week or two break, and then I think we're gonna pick another one out of my stack and we're gonna do we're gonna do this again because I have journals that I need to finish all right so here we go now this is a spiral bound homemade uh, journal because I got glue and paint and stuff on the binding it's the pages some of them are a little difficult to turn this started off by being a journal I was gonna do like five minute art in or left handed art in and it morphed into doing to becoming something else but there is some really good, good work in here I think I had a lot of fun with the pages in this journal and most of them have been filmed and are on the website here I'm sorry on the YouTube channel somewhere don't forget if you are watching this and you are new to my channel to like share and subscribe and if you haven't seen any of the other videos for this journal, a lot of them towards the end are um, in a playlist called Wrap It Up. So um, these beginning first ones are not, but some of the ones starting and the next page. <laughs> After this, the rest of them are in the Wrap It Up playlist. If you want to follow me on social media or shop in my Etsy shop, send me happy mail, all of that stuff or links where you can find out how to do that stuff, it's all in the description, so check it out. Along with the link to the playlist. I think this is one of my most fun pages that I did because it was just random and it was um, just, I just had fun with it. All, all the pages, I have to say, there's a freedom in just making pages because you want to make pages and not, I wasn't worried about what they look like to a certain extent. I just wanted to have fun with it. This is a great one. There's no uh, wax or anything on all the pages, so I have stuck some wax paper in here where things are maybe sticking to the other one or I think they might. I love this page. It, he turned out really cute. Playing with pastels, that was a lot of fun. Playing with my new gold calligraphy ink. That was fun. Can you guys, I don't know that you saw the original video, but you can you see there how that gold ink is iridescent? It's fabulous stuff. One of my new stencils, which you can buy in my Etsy store. Having fun with abstracts. Playing with bits and pieces I had laying around or that came in Happy Mail. This is an old gift card that I used to use for years. I've used it as a paint and glue scraper and it finally just got too icky to just deal with and I have a million of them. So I actually punched holes in it and I used it here on the journal page. I thought that was clever. I love this page. Can't you just see doing that on a big canvas? So much fun. And this one here we um, did... Uh, lifting of the paint through us through one of my stencils in the background before we did the watercoloring. I love the way it kind of looks like a pond which I didn't really plan but I love the way it turned out. And then the last page again using up some scraps and bits and pieces that I had or that you guys have given me to create an interesting composition. So just go out and have some fun play with your bits and pieces put them in a journal, let go of what it should be. There's no right way. There's no wrong way. There's only your way. All right. That's it for today. I hope I'm filming this the day before 4th of July. So I've, I hope you've had a great one and don't forget to go out and have a great day, week, moment, evening, whatever you can squeeze in. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it and I'll see you later. Okay. Bye guys.